The equation of conservation of momentum, also called momentum principal, is based upon Sir Isaac Newton's second law of motion, stating that the mass of the control volume times the acceleration equals the resultant of the force acting on the control volume. The momentum principle is shown here, in which m, big M, is the mass of the control volume and v is the velocity. Importantly, the momentum equation is a vector equation. It may be applied in the x, y, and z direction of a Cartesian system of coordinates. For students, the direction along which you choose to apply the equation of conservation of momentum is very important when it is developed. The forces acting on the control volume may include volume forces, such as the gravity force, pressure forces, reaction force, viscous force, also called drag force or friction force. Let us consider a simple application, a vertical sluice gate installed in a horizontal rectangular prismatic channel and partially opened, as sketched here. Examples of prototype sluice gate are shown here in Pindang County, Taiwan. On another series of vertical sluice gates, this time in Strasbourg, France. Before applying the momentum principle, let us list the forces acting on the control volume of water. The forces acting on the control volume include the weight force or gravity force, mg, acting downwards along the vertical z direction. The hydrostatic pressure forces acting on the upstream and downstream water section of the control volume, shown here. Note that the downstream pressure force is negative because it opposes the flow direction with the sketch on the x direction defined in the sketch. The force on the gate, on the control volume, the reaction force acting vertically upwards are equal exactly to the weight force, and the friction force on the channel invert opposing the flow motion. For completeness, two further forces are not sketched, that is, the pressure forces acting on the left and right side walls of the channel, along the direction perpendicular to the xz plane. These forces cancel each other in a rectangular prismatic channel. Their resultant is zero. The momentum is defined as the mass times the velocity of our control volume, mv. It is a vector quantity with three components in the Cartesian system of coordinates. Let us now develop the momentum term in the equation of conservation of momentum. The left term can be developed as shown here, where Cv means the control volume and Cs means the control surface of the control volume. In the case of a steady motion, the equation of conservation of momentum simplifies as the rate of change of momentum flux across the control volume equals the sum of the forces acting on the control volume. With on the left hand side of this equation, the momentum flux out and the momentum flux in, with the subscript out and in respectively, and BQ being the volume discharge. Going back to the example of the vertical sluice gate. The application of the momentum principle in the x direction gives this expression with the rate of change of momentum flux equals the upstream hydrostatic pressure forces minus the downstream hydrostatic pressure forces minus the force of the gate on the fluid minus the friction force. And this is in the x direction. Students, the equation of conservation of momentum is the only basic principle using the force vectors. Thus, in an exercise or an examination question involving the calculation of hydrodynamic forces, we would use the momentum principle. Secondly, all the applications of the momentum equation involve the equation of conservation of mass, shown here in the case of our 
rectangular channel. The equation of conservation of momentum is a fundamental principle in fluid mechanics, including its application on using physical and numerical modeling of fluid flow. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movie in the same channel.